punishment is savage for those who risk escape. But some will do anything to be free. Eighteen forty one, New Orleans. Ground zero for the slave trade. How much? It's auction day, the day every slave fears the most. In the first half of the nineteenth century, over half a million slaves are sold at auction. It's a business worth two billion dollars to the southern economy. Since the cotton boom, the value of slaves has skyrocketed. Now men cost a thousand dollars, women eight hundred, children five hundred. Solomon Northrup, an educated free man from the north, was kidnapped into slavery. Go boy, you come over here. He would make us hold up our heads, walk us briskly back and forth, while customers would feel our hands and arms and bodies. Make us open up our mouths and show our teeth, precisely as a jockey examines a horse which he is about to barter for or purchase. Scars upon a slave's back were considered evidence of a rebellious or unruly spirit and hurt his sail. Ninety percent of all African Americans are slaves. Four million men, women, and children. We had based this country on everyone having inalienable rights to freedom and equality, and yet we created a system of uh, abject persecution. Slaves are fattened for auction, like livestock. Dark-skinned men are bought for the fields. Light-skinned women for the house. Traders lie about their ages, even dye slaves' gray hairs. For the plantation owners, it was like just going to your local supermarket to get sugar or flour. They had become so desensitized to the humanity of the slave that they did not see them as human beings. Buyers demand the most fertile slaves for breeding. The most expensive. Are light-skinned teenage virgins. Rape is common. Eliza's from a state plantation. She's being sold with her two children, Emily and Randall. In Louisiana, it's illegal for children under 11 to be taken from their parents. It happens all the time. You know, 140 years is not a really long time in the context of history. So it's hard for me to believe that blacks didn't have any rights here. They weren't treated as as human beings. They were treated like animals, essentially. So please. Over half the sales at auction will tear a family apart. If you've ever been eight, to think of being separated from your mother and your father, and sold, and you'll never see them again, the horror of that, the poignancy of all of that, and yet that's the kind of thing that happened across the South up until the end of slavery. Okay, my final offer. Nine hundred for that man. The woman there, seven hundred dollars. Please, I'm my child. I have seen mothers kissing for the last time the faces of their dead offspring, but never have I seen such an exhibition of intense grief as when Eliza was parted from her child. Come on, now. Here you go. 